Hi everyone, this is Tulsa and I'm here with another video. It's like uh, my second video and oh gosh, there's Nicola in the background. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so this time I want to talk about making flats in the computer because it's really, really, really important to make your own flats and they're really hard. And so um, I'm becoming really good at them thanks to this book. If you guys don't have this book, you guys need to get it. And um, <laughs> I um, I think her book has helped me a lot, so I'm very happy about it. That was a weird moment. Okay, it doesn't matter. So this is I'm gonna show you my work. This is my portfolio. I've been working on my portfolio, and you know I'm constantly like updating it so it's all good. Um, so I'm gonna show you a picture of a little like the croquis that I drew and then the flats. And the light's really bad because the lighting is just bad. Okay, sorry. So that's my work. Do you see that? That little jacket. And then that is like a dress sweater. And that's like a jacket with a sweater. Okay, so basically, I've improved a lot. I'm really happy with my work. So I want to share with you like how to do flats in the computer. Um, the thing is, is that um, everyone has different techniques. And there's a lot of little things that are really will be kind of hard for me to go into when I'm doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a video and then I'm just going to like add my voice in. So I'm like letting you know what's going on. And yeah, so I hope that you like the video. And um, because I already did these guys, I'm not going to do another one. Like I'm not going to do what I just did now. I'm going to do for something else within the, that same collection. So yeah, I'm very excited that I'm going to share this with you guys. And it's going to be pretty hard because it's like I have to set up like two different cameras so that you can see me like putting in all the commands in the keyboard and then one for the screen. So actually it's one camera. So, but um, yeah, um, I'm excited and I'm very nervous to make these videos. Anyways, thank you so much. Thank you um, for your support and please like leave me comments because then I know like what you like, what you didn't like, like and yeah, I'm just being very slow. Okay, so hi everyone. So right now I'm gonna get ready to um, use the pen tool and I just click P and I'm using the pen tool to outline the jacket and it's going to be only half of the jacket. So I click and then I scroll and then I click what I just clicked so that I can have more control with the pen tool. So I see how I go back and click what I just clicked. Yeah, that's how I do it. So then I also pressed, um, I hold shift so then I have a, a vertical line. And A is the selection tool, and I like to use the selection tool to go back and kind of modify my work. Here I'm going to add my lines for division that are going to divide the shell with the arm. And I purposely go over the line as you can see because that way I can, I know that it's going over the line and that it's going to work when I use a pathfinder tool. Oh yes, and also when you're adding a new line, make sure to click P again, otherwise it's going to connect the line that you made before. So just go ahead and click P every time you want to make a new line. And there I'm just making the pockets. Okay, so that looks great. I'm going back with the direct select tool and H is to grab the screen and to move the screen around as I work. Okay. 
I like to really go back and make things really nice before I mirror things because that way I only do it once instead of twice and everything's exactly how I want it. Exactly symmetrical. So now I'm going to add my top stitch lines and I'm making a line now. <clears throat> And then I'm going to go into the stroke panel and doing 0.25 and a dash of one and a stroke of one. Not 14, I messed up there. So yeah, just adding these lines. And I know it's hard to see what I'm doing in the keyboard, but I thought it was a nice touch to have it anyways. Um, it's a French keyboard and I'm using a French, um, the language is French in the Illustrator, I'm sorry about that, but it's pretty much the same in English. And then I added the, what I'm doing, oh, this is the eyedropper tool, just I for the eyedropper and then and then you can select something that you want exactly the same. That's A for selection. Okay, so now I'm going to get ready to... I'm going to get ready to um, mirror everything. So I'm making sure everything looks okay. And of course the lines, when I mirror, I want to make sure that these lines don't overlap. So I'm going to go back and just move them back a little bit. And that looks great. So I went ahead and selected everything and then I mirrored it. Here it's just control J as I select everything. And then I'm going to select the line and the closed area so then I can do pathfinder divide. And I really love this um, tool in Illustrator. It's just like it makes everything so nice and neat without having to put things back and everything. It's just perfectly aligned. And of course I totally forgot that you need to ungroup everything. It's right click ungroup and in French it says that this associate but it's actually ungroup. So once you uh, divide you go ahead and press right click on group just so that you have so that you can rework that area without having to be um, without it having to be in a different group it's its own thing this associate and I put, don't forget to right click on group every time division is made on Pathfinder. So right now I'm like making sure everything's ungrouped. And yeah, you're supposed to do this with the black arrow, which is the selection tool. That's okay. I'm doing it now. Okay, so everything's looking pretty good. I'm just ungrouping everything. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy for later for the back of the jacket. And then 
I'm gonna do my rib. Oh no, not the rib. The zipper flap. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in and click the side and control C, control F for the front and change the stroke so that I'm adding a top stitch. And then control C, control F again and I'm scrolling it to the other side. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna get ready to add the rib brush. And I'm just scrolling this a little bit down this area because that way I can click exactly what I want. And I'm clicking two spaces that I'm taking away with Command X. And then I'm adding the brush stroke which is in your brush palette. You're supposed to have a rib brush. And then copy it, mirror it. And then I'm trying to select it, but it's not letting me and I don't know why, but it's because I selected something that's in a different group. So I'm gonna select it from another side. Just watch. Selecting it from the bottom. Nope, it's not going to work. Yep, there we go. And the brush. And it's Command 7 to mask. I do Shift Command 7 because mine is a French keyboard. And then I love this Command B. So you paste in the back and then go ahead and fill it right away. So next thing is the same thing. Taking away Command X, then adding my brush, Command F to paste in the front. Select sh uh, Shift Command 7, and I actually added a, a white fill. And I'm gonna go back and change that to a gray fill because it's the back. I want to show it's the back. Okay, perfect. Moving it back, and I'm going to go ahead and add that same gray with the eyedropper to the neck. So that's good. And right now, I'm getting ready to fill everything, so I'm selecting things. And, yeah, I'm, I think I'm putting the, um, yeah, the keyboard back in. Okay, so I'm selecting things. And with the eyedropper, I'm filling it in white. And that's kind of annoying because my stitches are disappeared, have disappeared into the back. So Command Z to go back. What I'm going to end up doing is, yeah, I'm going to select everything that I want and then I'm going to object and move send to back. So at, once everything is selected, um, go ahead and group it and then control C to copy and control B to paste in the back and then add a three point stroke. This is a nice effect if you have a thick jacket or a thick coat. But group it first so that they don't get stuck together and then you can just you know, if you feel like you don't want it anymore, you can just take it away. So that looks good. And I'm grouping everything again, so then I can move everything together. But if you want to, like, ungroup it, you can ungroup the first, the, the two coats. 
because there's groups with, within groups, if you know what I mean. So now all I'm doing is I'm uniting things. Before I was dividing things, all, now all I'm doing is uniting and that's with Pathfinder. So that looks pretty good, and now I'm going to divide again, but with a different angle because it's the back. Well, that looks good, and I'm going to do exactly the same like I did before. I'm going to um, use my Pathfinder to divide. And with the eyedropper, I just filled that line back in. And yeah, Pathfinder. Now I'm just getting ready to join these lines. And it's really your uh, imagination what you want the back to be. I'm just doing this really quickly so that you get an idea of what the back um, entails. but. And once you have the front, the back is pretty easy to do. <coughs> the only different thing is that you just unite some things and then you and then you rework it. And I'm going back again to do um, a mask effect with the brush and then control F to paste in the front. Command 7 and then Command B to paste in the back and then filling that in. And right now I'm getting ready to fill everything. So I'm selecting everything. And here I like to go Control X. If that doesn't work, I go Control X to take it away. And then Control B to put, paste it in the back. That's just my way if the other way doesn't work. The sending it to the back. And right now, I just did exactly what I did before. I grouped everything. I um, pasted it in the back, and then I um, and I regrouped it. So here, something happened to the front, but I'm just fixing it. Okay, grouping you, <clears throat> and that looks good. I see that there's like a little missing piece there, so I'm sending that to the front. And there you have it. That is my back and my front. And it was, um, it looks pretty good and it's like super fast and super everything. I really like this. So I hope you like my videos and let me know uh, what you would like if you have any questions. Okay, so that was it for today, and thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs>